Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Lumen Moon Tarot. So guys, I am here to do a random collective reading. This reading is for the collective. It is not going to resonate with all of you though, okay? So please just take what does resonate and toss out the rest, right? Um, don't try to force it into your world, okay? And thank you to everyone for your likes, subscribes, comments, shares, donations, everything that you guys do that helps this channel keep growing. Um, honestly, I feel like um, the likes and, and the subscribes are the things that push the messages out further, right? Um, so yeah, if you like this video, please click that like button because it, it helps the channel. It helps other, other people get the messages. It just helps everybody, okay? All right, what I'm seeing here is um, a masculine energy that's really sort of wrestling with making a decision. Here's the thing. This person, I feel like they need to make a decision between two, probably two people, but they've got their blindfold on. It's almost like they're still in their, um, they're in their ego, I feel. Like they, they really don't want to look at it, you know. They, they can't seem to forget about you. It's like they can't seem to forget about you, but they're still, um, they still want to be in denial, I feel, about the connection or what it is that they, that they have to do. It's almost like this person knows they have to make a decision, and they know they have to um, take that blindfold off and confront things, right, and um, communicate their truth here, big time. But... <clears throat> Even though this person can't seem to get you off of their mind, collective, like, they're feeling very nostalgic about you, okay? So thinking back on the happier times with you, right? All of those beautiful memories that you guys shared, the things that you did together, things like that, right? They can't get it off of their mind, but they're kind of in their ego and get, I feel like they're getting a little bit upset here. I don't know why I'm feeling that, but I feel like they're a little bit upset because they don't really want to admit that they made a mistake. They don't want to admit that they made a bad choice. They really don't want to look at this only because they know they have to. Do you see what I'm saying? And they're fighting it. They're fighting, they're fighting against what they have to do here. Um, procrastinating as long as they can, but they they constantly think about you and think about how they miss you, how they want you. You know, you're their six of cups. I feel like with the wheel of fortune here, you know, a cycle needs to come to an end. This person, I feel like they've kept this cycle, this wheel of fortune on delay. Okay, they've really delayed it because of their ego, because of all of this procrastination, because they don't want to do something that they know they really need to do. You see what I'm saying? And it, it's kept this wheel of fortune on delay for this connection. Like this person can keep thinking about you, but until they do what they're supposed to do, this wheel stuck for them, really. I feel it's stuck for them. High Priestess energy, um, Knight of Cups, this person, uh, I feel like... Um, they're not using their intuition here, okay? They're not, they're working out of their ego here. They're kind of like, I don't want to take a look at this. I'm not going to use my intuition. I, I really don't feel like coming in and telling somebody how I feel about them. But yet at the same time, they want this connection. They yearn for this connection. But they're, they're delaying their own, yeah, it's a self-sabotage. I was just going to say that, too. They're self-sabotaging because they won't get out of their ego, this person. You could be dealing with um, a Taurus, and Aries. Could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, uh, Gemini, any water sign, really, maybe doesn't have to be, though. I'm really just feeling that ego energy off of this emperor, really. 
Yeah, they're, they sabot they're sabotaging this even though I feel like they want to work on this with you. They do want this new beginning. I feel like they are needing to make a decision. They're juggling you with someone else. I feel like um, they made a bad decision, okay, and now they can't stop thinking about you. But nothing's happening here, and nothing can happen because with this connection yet as long as this person isn't talking as long as they're working out of their ego they need to drop the ego but they want to work on this with you I feel like they want this new beginning here that that one pentacle that they're holding in their hand they want a new beginning with you but they're sabotaging themselves by not wanting to see the truth not wanting to come forward with any kind of decision because you know an emperor they they never want to admit they made a wrong decision okay they don't want to admit that yeah this person has all these other options you know or at least did they did i feel like they could they thought they could do this whatever whatever they wanted to do here but I feel like the veils come down, all the illusions are coming down, okay? And this person's really seeing what they're missing. They know they're missing this. They're about to miss this opportunity with you. And this is the holy grail of love here, the Ace of Cups that they're missing out on. That connection that I've been talking about during your reading, that's you guys. This Ace of Cups, brand new beginning in love. They're going to miss out on it. Because this person, I feel like they had other options, or they still do, maybe. What's this one? Yeah, third-party situations. They need to drop the other options. They need to make a decision. They're, they need to make a decision and speak their truth and cut something out. Really burdened about um, cutting something out, though. This person, like it's like they don't want to. You know, this could be them wanting to come in and communicate with you, feeling all burdened. But I feel like they're burdened because they need to make a decision and they can't have it all. They can't have everybody, okay? They can't. They can't have all of these options all at once. Not if they want you. If they want this love option here, they got to clean up their act. No more third-party heartache and betrayals. No, they're missing out on this beautiful new beginning in love here, um, I feel like, because they're in their ego. They don't want to admit that they're wrong. They're living in denial. They've got other options. Um, they don't want to really let go of anybody here. They don't, I feel like they, they don't really want to cut something out. They're very burdened by that thought. Okay, and it's just like, it, this is a reunitement card to me, building something solid, something strong, but they've got, a, they've got multiple options here, or a third party, a possible Queen of Wands energy that they're with, possible fire sign maybe that they're with, yeah, I told you, they're still juggling, I told you, they're still juggling. Those two of pentacles, I said they were juggling before, but they really want this, the, a new beginning. That This is them. They're still juggling a Queen of Wands energy. So this could be someone who's very sexy, very good looking, goes after what they want. This can be considered the other woman as well. They're juggling at least two people here. You and someone else are... Maybe even others on the side here, like, yeah, but they, they, con they constantly think about you. And I feel like they're watching you as well with the Page of Swords out here. They're watching you, but not saying anything. They're not saying anything at all, but they're watching you. They want you. They're thinking about you. Um, they can't stop being nostalgic about you. You know, they know they're they're gonna miss out on this opportunity. There could be there could be um 
three other people here. You know, multiple options. Yeah, just wanting a victory. They just want to have some kind of victory here. I feel like this person's maybe waiting for an opportunity where they can come back in. Uh, when they do, they're going to be all, you know, dressed nice, smelling good, looking great. All right. Wanting a victory, but having a feeling betrayed, having a painful ending. I just feel like they know that you're pro probably moving forward here because I don't see your energy in here besides them thinking about you nonstop and missing their opportunity. I feel like that's they, they want a victory with you, but like... They may even let this come to an end here. I feel like, yeah, this person kind of abandoned you in third parties, treated you like an option. Yeah, they're thinking about what they're going to say here. I feel like they're, the divine's trying to reason with this person. Would you, you need to communicate. You need to speak your truth. That's really what I'm seeing here, is the divine trying to give this person a message about this. But I feel like they're, they're also wondering how they're going to word everything when they come to talk to you. This person could, you know, want forgiveness here, but they have, they have issues. This person has some issues. One, they need to get out. This is the person who's large and in charge, you know. They can be very cutting and nasty with their communication. They could have been that way with you. Um, and the divine is trying to reason with this person, I feel, and tell this person that they need to, they need to speak their truth. They need to be honest if they want forgiveness here from you. Definitely they need to make a decision. Yeah, because do they want this new beginning or do they want all the third-party crap? There could even be some gossip going on around you. I just feel like this person has handled all, all these different loves. There could be up to three people involved in this, three people that they have, multiple options. And I feel like they've handled it all so immaturely. And, you know, they get a new beginning with somebody, but they need to make a decision. And they're being kind of immature about it. Um, I'm also seeing this as gossip, maybe. A lot of gossip behind the situation. I'm seeing this person having... Three, three feminine energies here to decide between, okay? I'm seeing three. You know, maybe which one is going to be the most abundant here? I, I feel like they're laying here thinking about it. Which of these swords do I choose? Which one? You know, they're tapping this blade. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Uh, you know, I don't like this person's energy, I got to say. I don't like it. It's just male chauvinistic kind of, I feel. Or, you know, take it how it resonates. It's really not gender specific, but um, really, I mean, it's almost like they're shopping. You know what I mean? I don't like it. It's immature. It's it's working out of their ego. They Yeah, I don't like this. They just keep juggling. They just keep juggling and like it's it's kind of like they want to build something solid, but in order to do that with you, they have to let something go. Yeah, player energy. I'm telling you guys, this person's a freaking player. And they think they can do this with other people because they're an emperor energy. They just, I don't like this person's energy, I've got to say. I don't like it. You know, what's going to happen here? What's going to happen here, divine?
Yeah, this person's a, they're a player. They've got in and out energy with kind of everybody that they're dealing with here. I think you're the only, you're the only one who's not out here, really. I, I feel like you're not, it, you're not a part of this, and that's why they can't stop thinking about you. Because all these other people are pouring their love into their cup here. But you're not. I feel like you're not really a part of what's going on with this person behind the scenes. Yeah, what did I just say? Thank you, Divine. <laughs> I love you, Divine. Oh my gosh. The, you know what? My spirit guides, they always have my back. Yeah, you've already sailed away from this crap. You're, you've already left the scene and you've gone to calmer waters already. You put the burdens down. You went solo. You're like, I'm gone. I feel like you found out about other options. This person broke your heart in a third party, stabbed you in the back, and you, you left. You just let, they haven't heard or seen from you since then. Or heard, they haven't heard from you or seen you since then. Because you, you have left the scene. Yeah. I feel like this person just, they had too many, too many choices then the too much ego and just too much juggling and not enough being serious about people's hearts you know this could be your twin flame soulmate connection i'm telling you what though they hold you in very high regard they really do this person though regardless of their player energy and and the, all the juggling they cannot get you off of their mind they just can't. It's like there's a there's a huge pull from this connection, and it just at every turn it leads your person's mind back on those memories of, of you. And then they see you out here doing whatever it is that you're doing, collective. You're you you're a star energy here. So you're a leader, a guide for others. Somehow you're out here showing yourself, uh, doing something amazing. Okay, um, people are noticing what you're doing. You're you're beautiful. You're showing yourself and your abilities. You're you're out here being a star, shining like a diamond. You're having a glow up, and everyone can see you. I feel like you're in the public eye, and this person, they're they're definitely realizing what they missed out on. Okay. But yeah, you took your energy out of this. You did. And I feel like it was early on. And um, you went to calmer waters. You took yourself to calmer waters here. Healed. You got this healing energy here. You healed yourself. And you became kind of the star. You're on a glow up. And your person, now they can't seem to let you go. They They can't seem to stop thinking about you. They can't. They, you know, they hold you in very high regard here. But I feel like you're elevating. You, Some of you could even be moving away. And they, they're energetically trying to hold on. Look how muscly they are. They're holding on for dear life, right? Right? All flexed and stuff. Yeah, they're flexing, right? But at the same time... Geez, you know, in order to be with someone like you, right, they'd have to give up their player ways. They have to give something up here. And I feel like they're laying here trying to decide. Uh, it's just, ew. You know? Your person, you know, they, they're a player. They're a player. And they may even go after whatever is most abundant. And you just are like, I'm outie. And they can't let go of your energy. They can't let, go. what did I say? Bottom of the deck, they can't let go of your energy. They could be kind of um, not doing very well on their pentacles. Okay, so they may be low on, on money, having some financial burdens here, trying to hang on to whatever little bit they can. Maybe that's why they go after the one who's usually most abundant. All I know is that they see what you're doing out here in the star energy, and 
man they just they don't want to let you go okay they don't want to let you go but guess what the divine is telling this person they need to do the right thing yeah but like i said guess what you're leaving you're leaving the scene you've already moved forward some of you like i said you could be moving away away right but yeah, your you're planes, trains, and automobiles here, what, any way you can, you're not going to be a part of this crap. You know, you're in a chariot, you know, first you're in a boat, then you're in a chariot. You guys could be making like a trip around the world or something actually, but um, I mean, any way you can, you're leaving the scene, dropping the burdens on this, putting them down where they can't hurt you anymore. And you're gone, you're outie. You've pulled your energy back. You've kind of escaped from this. You've been through the battle, though, I'm telling you, but you are victorious in this because you left Solo Dolo having, um, having a lot of confidence in yourself and knowing that you're worth better than this BS. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing here, guys. Your person, though, this person, just they're hanging on to your energy. I feel like you can feel that. You know, you can feel it, but still you're out here being beautiful, doing your thing. Yeah, they're still hanging on to you, but anyway, that's what I got for you guys for this quick little reading. Um, I hope it helps. I really do. If you like this video, please click that like button, right? Um, and uh, subscribe to the channel. Become a new Mooney if you like this vibe, right? And um, until next time, my collective, take care of you, okay? And peace out.